Tonight, food trucks on parade. Woo! We are in Miami's Midtown District for an event called Trucks on Midtown's Tracks. You can actually see the train tracks over my shoulder. Hosted by Andrew Zimmern, today is all about the food truck phenomenon. Nearly two dozen food trucks have descended on Midtown. Now what's most exciting to me, we've seen food trucks before, but maybe not like this. We've got trucks that dispense yogurt. We've got trucks with wood-burning ovens inside, and they are coming in every shape and size, from campers to airstreams to even English cottages. We've got lots of eating to do. Let's get started. The beauty of the food truck they, for me is it gives the entrepreneur the the opportunity to change horses in the middle of the stream, get really creative. I mean, when you look at the different concepts that are here, it's crazy. There are guys who are doing puff beef tendon with sous vide brisket. I'm doing my Piedmontese hot dog. It's an incredible variety of foods. We're doing a Florida spiny lobster pizza, locally sourced from Casablanca Fish Market, and we make everything from scratch every day. We're serving our cubadilla, which is slow roasted pork, sweet serrano ham, with Swiss cheese and pickles, with a garlic mustard aioli that we made ourselves. And then in about a half an hour, we're going to be serving our cannoli nachos. Today, we have our signature orchid vanilla almond, and we have our Aztec chocolate. It has a little spice, and it's good going down. We have red velvet, a ludicrous, which is a banana bacon with peanut butter frosting, caramel and chocolate, blackberry lemon, and ultimate chocolate with a brownie piece on top. We're serving potato ravioli with Parmesan fondue, radicchio, walnuts, and balsamic reduction. You know you've got one of the longest lines. It just got this long in like two minutes. I, I hope it's because we're serving good food. We're serving the crab cake sliders with a sweet chili jam, roasted garlic aioli, and shredded lettuce. And what, do you, what do you love about a food truck? What makes it so much fun? You're always on the go. You never know what to expect. It's not like having a freestanding restaurant. Your tires pop, your axles pop. Are you defending a title this year? One last year. We were the best truck on the beach and we're, we're gonna try and win it again. Southern Mouth is a house smoked pork uh, with cheddar cheese, fried pickles, and uh, Texas toast. You can't beat it. All told, how many slices have you passed out today? About 1,800. How do you stay cool in a truck that hot? You just enjoy it. If you love what you do, it's worth it. Well, this food truck event truly has been like a party in your mouth. Thanks so much for joining us on New York Insider TV, the place where we bring you a taste of life on the inside. Also, imagine how good the restaurant scene is inside Vatican City. Apparently, there's only one place to get chow. I'd like to expand that. I'd like to see four or five restaurants. I'd like to see the Vatican Guard do a little more on those giant, you know, spiky things they carry around. That's great for putting a brisket on and barbecuing it. You took my question and you ran with it before I even asked it. Hi, I'm Aim to Please. My name is Robin. I'll do anything you want, certain things only.